welcome you to week five of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament, where tonight in Manhattan, New York, the quarterfinals of the CWC begin. 16 has become eight, and tonight four of those participants will battle it out inside the squared circle. Kicking us off in moments, it is a former NXT Heritage Cup winner, and Nathan Frazier set to take on one half of Los Lotharios, Angel Garza should be an incredible matchup, but also coming up later this afternoon in the quarterfinals of the CWC, it is the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough, set to battle the invincible Ilya Dragunov. The first two quarterfinal matches live this afternoon in Manhattan, New York, Hammerstein Ballroom, the 2023 Cruiserweight Classic Tournament continues right here, right now. And as we mentioned, we are kicking things off with the young upstart Nathan Frazier taking on a former cruiserweight champion himself, Angel Garza. Should be a great contest to kick things off here in Manhattan. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier. Well, this young spark plug, Nathan Frazier, certainly made a name for himself a few weeks back in his opening round contest in the CWC, going one-on-one -on -one with a former NXT Tag Team Champion in Wesley. A very high offense matchup that in the end, Nathan Frazier picked up the victory in. The biggest match of his career a few weeks ago, but now the ante is up tonight. It is the quarterfinals of the CWC, and this man participating out of the NXT brand is looking for a full-time spot in the Cruiserweight division through the means of this tournament. But his opposer, Angel Garza, is looking to make his way back to the top of the division and earn himself a future opportunity at the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Representing Los Lotharios from Monterey, Mexico, weighing in at 205 pounds, Angel! Well, Angel Garza had the mind game over Mustafa Ali a few weeks ago in their first round matchup. We talked about it then that Angel Garza had earned a victory over Ali months ago on SmackDown. They finally met back up in the means of the CWC and once again Garza had the number of Mustafa Ali. And it was definitely a shocker to those amongst the Manhattan, New York, Hammerstein ballroom. But nonetheless, Angel Garza, all the tools to be a success. And as we mentioned, he has been a champion before in the Cruiserweight division. We know what's on the line, not only to be the winner of the CWC, but of course the winner of this match will earn a future opportunity at the championship that will be defended later tonight in Baltimore, Maryland at No Mercy. But right now, this afternoon, we are kicking off the quarterfinals of the Cruiserweight Classic. Later tonight, it'll be JD McDonough taking on Ilya Dragunov. But right here, right now, it is Nathan Frazier one-on-one -on -one with Angel Garza. Bell has sounded and we are underway in the means of Manhattan, New York in the Hammerstein Ballroom. Lights are on bright, go big or go home. We started with 16, we are down to eight and right now Angel Garza takes the momentum off the opening bell. And another moonsault there to, to I should say, ground Nathan Frazier. And I'm sure Angel Garza did his homework coming into this matchup, showing how much high offense Nathan Frazier exported in that matchup with Wesley, trying to beat him, not necessarily at his own game, but at least ground the young man tonight. As we've talked about with Frazier, the first ever NXT Heritage Cup winner, made his way from NXT UK to NXT, a student of the current WWE Champion Seth freaking Rollins, very young in his career, he's got all the tools to be a success, he is going to be a bright future spot here in the WWE. And it could start in the means of the CWC, but Angel Garza has other plans as Frazier. No momentum so far, and Garza takes things to the air to pick and hero over the top rope, and down goes Frazier at ringside. Angel Garza, like we said, may have been an upset in the first round of the tournament defeating Mustafa Ali, and he's looking to keep that momentum going. Unfortunately, his tag team partner, his cousin Humberto Carrillo, of Los Lotharios falling short to the one and only Ricochet two weeks ago. Ricochet will, of course, compete next week against Rawls Tyler Bate in the CWC. 
So Angel Garza going in alone for Los Lotharios in the rest of this tournament, but Nathan Frazier now trying to get back into it. Nice tilt to whirl. This is week five of the CWC. We're over halfway in the tournament thus far. It's been an amazing ride thus far, but still so much more action to go. Off the snap German into the bridge, but only a one. Gotta wonder if Nathan Frazier added any tools to the arsenal over the last few weeks in his preparation of fighting Angel Garza here tonight. And a nice maneuver there. Almost Finn Balor-esque with a chop and then following up with a drop to the side of the head. Nathan Frazier, a student of the game, and we see it in his arsenal. As we mentioned, a student of the current WWE Champion, Seth freaking Rollins. And that's only gonna pay Nathan Frazier dividends throughout his career, and could certainly do so tonight. Angel Garza days on the outside, and Nathan Frazier saying, whatever you can do, I can do better. Taking things to the air and taking the fight to ringside here in Hammerstein Ballroom. Garza down at ringside, but Nathan Frazier looking to keep the foot on the gas pedal here as he comes off the apron with a short order lariat, and down goes Garza again. Remember, the winner of this match will meet the winner of next week's quarterfinal quarter matchup in the CWC between Dominic Mysterio and Johnny Gargano. And of course, later tonight, we will see J.D. McDonough taking on Ilya Dragunov, where the winner of that match will meet next week's winner between Tyler Bay and Ricochet. Off the springboard, Moonsault there, gets the two, and Fraser almost had him. And you gotta believe it will be an upset tonight if Nathan Fraser can get the win, especially after Angel Garza defeated Mustafa Ali a bit, in a bit of an upset in the first round. Nathan Fraser still very young in his career. Garza with the more veteran experience of the two. Let's see if that plays in. Garza was controlling the first few minutes, but Nathan Fraser starting to catch up, even the playing field. Now Sin Garza forcefully on the top. Angel having none of it there. A springboard of his own, and a missile drop kick right on the button. And follows it up with the moonsault that we saw earlier. And this time directly into the cover. Gets the two, but it's only a two. Nathan Frazier still got life left in the heart. And remember, we are kicking things off this Saturday afternoon at the CWC, but it's gonna be an amazing 24 hours here in the WWE coming up in less than two hours, 5 p.m. Eastern time. We are heading to Baltimore, Maryland. Live premiere event, SmackDown exclusive No Mercy tonight at 5 p.m. Eastern. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. And then tomorrow night, we are heading to Chicago, Illinois, another 5 p.m. Eastern start time, live premiere for the Raw exclusive Unforgiven event. But it all kicks off right here, right now, at the CWC. And Frazier muscling up Garza and dropping him on the apron. Not afraid to get a little ultra-violent in the means of this hardcore city of Manhattan, New York. Creating some separation there, but Garza gonna close the distance and send Nathan Frazier to the outside again. I had to do some damage on Angel Garza getting dropped on the apron. You see Garza not going to capitalize on sending Frazier to the outside. Wanted to catch his breath, but it may have only paid dividends to Nathan Frazier. Very creative slingshot elbow drop over the top. Angel Garza likes to perfect that helo over the top sometimes. But Nathan Frazier had his own variation in mind, and then a big time cutter. And once again, Angel Garza is on the run. Nathan Frazier came to play in the CWC. An impressive first round win over a former NXT Tag Team Champion of Wesley. And I'm looking to continue that momentum right here tonight. Off the middle buckle with the moonsault. And he lands in flush. But Garza again survives. A great effort here by Nathan Frazier thus far. But Angel Garza, as we mentioned earlier, the more veteran of the two, prepared to go the distance if means necessary in this match. A nice counter there, beautiful, by one half of Los Lotharios. Angel and Humberto, for that matter, can be a little arrogant at times, can be a little underhanding in that ring, but certainly can't take, take away, excuse me, their tools from bell to bell. Nathan Frazier getting his momentum stopped at a screeching halt as Garza looking for that drop kick to the side of the dome that has won him matches in the past and it may do it again tonight. Not just yet as Nathan Frazier kicks out. Garza almost had him there. A close call for the young man. Now Angel could have been looking for that 
face buster, or whatever you want to call it, that he defeated Ali with a few weeks ago. Frazier realizing that. And now fighting an uphill battle and a beautiful shooting star standing on the canvas. And so much high offense back and forth. This momentum starts to swing in this matchup as we kick off the quarterfinals of the CWC. Frazier, holy hell! A springboard Frankensteiner on Angel Gorza, dead center of the ring, and he almost had him. Manhattan, New York coming unglued for the efforts between these two superstars tonight. Nathan Frazier hoisting Garza up on the top. Springboard Frankensteiner from the heavens. Garza had a crash landing in the middle of the W, dead center of the ring, but it wasn't enough to get the three count. Awesome efforts nonetheless by Nathan Frazier. Clearly willing to throw caution in the winds and the means of success tonight. I'm going for a frog splash it looks like, but Angel had it scouted. And another crash landing, but this time, not the way Frazier wanted it. Able to survive, but certainly some damage done off that miss. Said it a few minutes ago, but the momentum starting to swing back and forth in this matchup as we enter the later rounds of this quarterfinal bout in the CWC. And Nathan Frazier continuing to go back to the well with what has worked for him throughout this match. Another drop kick. Trying to knock the bells loose of Angel Garza. Frazier heading to the top. Garza on the run, but Nathan Frazier not, a, not afraid to meet him on the outside. Big time cross body from the top. These men are getting creative tonight. That's for damn sure. Angel back inside the ring, not by will, but by force. And Frazier is on his tail. But what is Nathan Frazier gonna have to throw at Garza to pick up the win tonight? He's already done so much, but he continues to persevere. Standing moonsault this time off the springboard and follows it up with the shooting star, but he went to the well too many times with the high risk maneuvers and Garza had a counter. Got the knees up and it may have been a mistake. Nathan Frazier getting cut in half. Sit out into the cover. This is how he beat Ali two weeks ago, but Nathan Frazier gets the shoulder up. And the matchup continues here in Manhattan, New York. And Angel Garza starting to come unglued. He had Mustafa Ali beat with that same maneuver three weeks ago, but Nathan Frazier's just got something in the tank tonight that can't be stopped. And Garza gonna go to the well, up and over the top again. This is how you kick off the quarterfinal round of the CWC. We started with 16, we are down to eight but only one man can ultimately win this tournament and earn themselves a shot at the Cruiserweight title in the near future. And both of these men want to see their names in the lights. Cruiserweight Championship will be on the line later tonight, 5 p.m. in Baltimore at No Mercy as Santos Escobar defends the gold against Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. But Nathan Frazier right now. Oh, beautiful Frankensteiner, dead center, or not dead center of the ring, but enough away from the ropes. Almost got the pinfall. Almost snuck away with the win there over Garza. Garza not gonna allow it, sending Fraser back into the corner. The big time forearm, trying to scramble the eggs of the opponent. Deliver the boots to the chest, or shall I say the heart. Back into the cover again. So many near falls in this matchup. Something's gotta give, but Fraser again gets the shoulder off the canvas. Garza's gotta be racking his brain right now. What is it gonna take to put this young man away? Nathan Fraser will not die tonight. Big time counter, another reversal. Now it's Garza with the drop kick again. It was reversal for reversal there for a moment, but Angel Garza took Fraser with the drop kick. At some point, you start to run out of creative moves in your arsenal. You just got to go to the well with what may hurt you, but will certainly hurt your opponent. That's it. And Nathan Frazier takes the double knees. But Garza, late into this round, not watching his ring awareness. And the rope break saves Nathan Frazier there for a moment. Garza up in the top, and what has he got in mind? Hits the moonsault. And this time, from the absolute heavens of NYC. 
Now what's not to go for the cover? Very interesting decision there, shall I say. As Nathan Fraser's on the outside and Garza could be looking to go high risk again. Over the top, but this time he went to the well. One too many times. Third time is not the charm. Angel Garza crashing and burning at ringside. And now Frazier trying to create some distance, trying to build some momentum, muster up some energy to hopefully put the final nail in the coffin for a victory. Garza back on the outside. Nathan Frazier trying to meet him there. Garza with that counter, however. Now Angel sending Nathan Frazier to the barricade. What an effort by these two superstars tonight. Nathan Fraser's going to be crying for mercy right now. Off the barricade again, and on the double knees there, and both men are down at ringside. Referees at a count of four. Angel Gorza starting to stir, but if Nathan Fraser doesn't get up, well, I was going to say he could. Angel Garza could be earning a count out victory, but it looks like he's not done inflicting punishment just yet. Oh, Nathan Fraser getting out of it. And back inside the squared circle. Angel gonna follow him. Nathan Fraser might have caught him there. Wait a minute, tilt to whirl, head scissors. Angel's down. Fraser follows it up with the senton. And now scale on the ropes. Could be going for the Phoenix Flash that won in the matchup a few weeks ago. There it is, to the lower back of Angel Garza. Into the cover. Nathan Frazier picks up the victory. What a phenomenal match to kick off the quarterfinals of the CWC. My goodness, Angel Garza threw everything he had literally in his arsenal to try to keep down Frazier tonight, but this young man simply just wanted it more. Here is your winner, Nathan Frazier. Well, let's take a look at the bracket as eight men becomes seven. Angel Garza officially eliminated from the CWC. And Nathan Frazier, the first man to move on to the semifinals in two weeks time right here in Manhattan, New York. A big win for Nathan Frazier. First Wesley in the first round and then a hard fought uphill battle in the quarterfinals sending Los Lotharios, Angel Garza packing, and Frazier's got a first class ticket to the semifinals. But who is gonna move on? It is JD McDonough and Ilya Dragunov in your following contest. Who's gonna join Frazier in the semis? We find out up next here in Manhattan, New York. Coming up in less than two hours, 5 p.m. in Baltimore at No Mercy. The Cruiserweight Championship is on the line as Legado del Fantasma Santos Escobar defends the gold against Alpha Academy's Chad Gable. Also signed for two night at No Mercy. It's a big time six-man tag team match as Gunther, Kaiser, and Vinci of Imperium are set to take on Johnny Gargano, Dominic, and Rey Mysterio. A personal rivalry between two former friends and tag team champions now turned bitter enemies as Bianca Belair goes one-on-one -on -one with the ballsy badass Shotzi who's looking to cut ties with the EST. The WWE Women's Championship is on the line. Candice LeRae has scratched and clawed for another opportunity. Now she gets it later tonight at no mercy. One-on-one -on -one with the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. It is a David vs. Goliath meeting, a rematch from last month on SmackDown. The Nigerian giant Omos looked to squash Ricochet under his feet. It's Omos versus the one and only Ricochet later tonight. Also coming up for the United States Championship, meaner than evil, Braun Breaker. Set to go one-on-one -on -one with the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes on his quest to winning gold for the first time on SmackDown. Who's going to leave with the red, white, blue, and gold? And in the main event, it's the five-man elimination match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Drew McIntyre defends the gold against Austin Theory, AJ Styles, Randy Orton, and Edge. That all kicks off at 5 p.m. Eastern time later tonight. And coming your way tomorrow night in Chicago from Monday Night Raw, Carmelo Hayes scored a victory over the almighty Bobby Lashley a few weeks ago. Lashley wants to settle the score. It's Lashley versus Melo. 
The Intercontinental Championship is on the line in a triple threat match as the champion L.A. Knight defends the gold against the great liberator Sami Zayn as well as Cedric Alexander. And what about the WWE World Tag Team title matchup as Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day put the gold on the line against Rich Holland and Butch of the Brawling Brutes. It is Falls Count Anywhere, a matchup that can end up anywhere in the Windy City. The street champ Sol Sokoa battles it out with the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa. Becky Lynch has been at the waiting cusp of the Empress of Tomorrow for months, waiting for another matchup from WrestleMania. It is Asuka versus Becky Lynch with a whole lot of bragging rights on the line. Locked inside the confines of a steel cage, the original bro Matt Riddle, one on one with the beast incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Violence has taken over Raw, they settle it inside the cage tomorrow night. And in the main event for the WWE Championship, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. Revenge is at stake as Sheamus looks to get back at Rollins for putting him on the shelf months ago, with the WWE Championship also hanging in the balance. It is main event time here in the Hammerstein Ballroom. It is time for your second of two scheduled quarter final matches in the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. McDonough. We'll come your way next Saturday afternoon. The quarterfinals of the CWC continue in a very interesting affair as Dominic Mysterio is set to fight Johnny Gargano one-on-one. -on -one. These two men will be on the same side of the ring, teaming up with Ray against Imperium later tonight at No Mercy. But next Saturday, all bets are off when Dominic and Gargano meet one-on-one -on -one in the quarterfinals. J.D. McDonough, of course, just last week defeating Prince Pretty Tyler Breeze to advance to the quarters of the CWC. But now a big obstacle in the Irish Aces way as he goes one-on-one -on -one with a former Intercontinental Champion, the man who once defeated Gunther for the NXT United Kingdom Championship, that being the invincible Ilya Dragunov. But J.D. McDonough has made the most of big opportunities in the past, most importantly last week, defeating Tyler Breeze. We talked about it then, we'll discuss it again just a few months ago, McDonough was the number one contender for the Cruiserweight title. An opportunity that slipped through the hands of JD, but I'm sure this former Cruiserweight champion would love to get another opportunity. And whether it be Santos Escobar or Chad Gable, we'll see who walks away as the champion later tonight at No Mercy. But what if Monday Night Raw's participants in the CWC is making their way down the aisle in the middle of the Big Apple? And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. Well, the winner of this match will meet the winner of next week's quarterfinal matchup in the CWC as another Monday Night Raw participant, the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, is set to go one-on-one -on -one with Friday Night SmackDown's human highlight reel himself, Ricochet. Earlier this evening, we saw Nathan Frazier successful in the quarterfinals. He will meet the winner of Dominic and Johnny Gargano. But once again, the winner of this following matchup, J.D. McDonough and Ilya Dragunov meets the winner of Tyler Bate and Ricochet. The semifinals of the CWC kick off in two weeks, live right here, 3 p.m. Eastern time, Saturday afternoon. But still a lot of business to take care of before this tournament progresses weeks on. That's right here. This afternoon, in the middle of Hammerstein Ballroom, Manhattan, New York. Friday Night Smackdown's J.D. McDonough, the Irish Ace. Monday Night Raw's Invincible, Ilya Dragunov. Big time matchup set on hand as the quarterfinals continue. And your main event attraction, week five of the CWC. Certainly a big fight field between these two international competitors who have been to the top of the mountain, respectively, in their own aspirations in the past former champions here in the wwe but tonight an opportunity to move on to the next round and once again fight either tyler bate or ricochet when they get there both these men with similar styles at time a lot of striking in their arsenals 
JD McDonough certainly very cold and calculated inside that ring. And Ilya Dragunov, one of the toughest superstars we have ever seen in the WWE. Still pretty hot off the heels of an Intercontinental Championship reign that kicked off at WrestleMania in February. Came to a close back in July at Money in the Bank. Dragunov with another opportunity at hand. Here tonight to make, his, make a step one step closer to a championship opportunity on SmackDown for the Cruiserweight title. But J.D. McDonough wants that same goal. Once again, the Cruiserweight title will be on the line in less than two hours. Right down in Baltimore, Maryland, no mercy, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. You will see the Cruiserweight title being defended as Alpha Academy's Chad Gable contest against the Emperor of Lucha Libre from Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar. All that and more coming your way later this evening, 5 p.m. at No Mercy in Baltimore, but we gotta focus in on Manhattan, New York, right here, right now. J.D. McDonough with some early offense, but Dragunov not gonna allow it as he hangs up McDonough on the top rope. Simply an effective maneuver there by the Invincible One. Oh, man. That was a mean shot. Might have caught some of the jaw of J.D. McDonough on the way up. And a nice overhead throw, and McDonough goes down. Ilya Dragunov with so many ways to beat you, and that is one of the things that made him so successful throughout his Intercontinental Championship reign. The lariats, the strikes, of course, the torpedo headbutt. Dragunov's got so many ways to get that three count. How will he try to do it against J.D. McDonough tonight? Or will McDonough pull the ace out of the hole? and do what he did to Tyler Breeze last week, and that's simply make an example out of his opponent. Off the counter there, McDonough sending Dragunov into the barrier. Oh man, now into the steel steps. McDonough not afraid to throw down and get a little violent, especially in this hardcore city of New York. That's why we said J.D. McDonough so cold, so calculated in his arsenal sometimes. He's one of those few superstars who not only has a lot of ways to beat you, but is not afraid to pick you apart limb by limb in an attempt to get that three count. That was one of the reasons he was one of those superstars that made his way from NXT UK to NXT. It's one of the reasons he's a former Cruiserweight champion, and it's one of the reasons he's got Ilya Dragunov preferably on the ropes right now. As Dragunov goes down to the canvas, not by will, but by force of the Irish Ace. Oh, but a nice counter there, blocking the strike mid-air. Now drag it off. It off McDonough. Nice reversal. Very evenly matched here when it comes to the weight and the size. Just drag it off. Wait a minute. Closing McDonough. Closing the gap in the corner. Double lariat squashing the Irish Ace up against the turnbuckle pads. Now drag it off again with one of those hard strikes. Now drag it off. It's uncharacteristic usually to see him go to the top. We saw him tap into this last week against Axiom. Oh, and from the top. Now into the cover. And McDonough gets the shoulder off. Nice maneuver there by the invincible Ilya Dragunov. Again, we saw him tap in a little bit, a little bit of that high risk reward, if you will, last week against the competitor all the way from Spain and Axiom. Still very uncharacteristic for Ilya Dragunov. Usually very ground-based. Very toe-to-toe -to -toe with his opponents, if you will. And a nice Saito there. And McDonough getting dropped right on his dome. And he may be on the run, but Dragunov not going to allow it as he comes from the top with another crossbody. This time from the trajectory of the top rope down to the ground of the Hammerstein Ballroom. Ilya dragging off throwing tossing in the wind, all in the means of advancing to the semifinals of the CWC. Oh, and a crash and burn that time. McDonough had him scouted. And a hangman's neck breaker on the outside of the ring. The Irish ace with a brutal maneuver. And follows it up with a tope suicida. Shot out like a cannon. A bullet to the chest of Ilya dragging off. That was a hard hit. And you see, McDonough didn't get a, a big head of steam before that. He went directly from the ring right to the heart of Ilya Dragunov. And a ragdoll on him back to ringside. McDonough is kicking in into a new gear, and he comes off the apron again with that lariat. J.D. McDonough is not going to go down without a war. 
and Dragunov expect it as such, but he is feeling it firsthand right now by the Irish Ace. A man who is trained by one half of the World Tag Team Champions, the Prince Finn Balor. J.D. McDonough's got so many tools in that arsenal, and he's certainly inflicting all of them on behalf of Ilya Dragunov right now. Now keeping it simple, keeping it old school with the suplex. Never goes out of style. Dragunov struggling to get to his feet, and you see J.D. McDonough taking his time to attack. Doesn't want to rush into a possible mistake as he might have right there as Dragunov boots right to the jaw. Falls over the senton. Same maneuver he was looking for on the outside, this time connected with it. Now it's McDonough trying to get his wits about him. But Ilya Dragunov looking to continue the momentum, keep the foot on the gas pedal. Now what has he got in mind here? Sending J.D. McDonough back to the outside. And I think Dragunov's wheels are spinning. He knows he's got to deep, dig deep down in the bag of trip to try to get a victory tonight. Tope suicide died through the ropes and J.D. McDonough sent Horn into the barricade. And once again tonight, Manhattan, New York is on their feet in appreciation of the efforts by Ilya Dragunov and J.D. McDonough as Dragunov is fired up. Ilya Dragunov got that full head of steam from pillar to post in the ring and then to the outside, so much so he sent J.D. flying into the steel barricade. Oh, but again! That's certainly a way to change the trajectory of the match. McDonough for the second time using his whereabouts to his Perfection there, wait a minute, McDonough. There's a counter by Dragunov. Could've been going for that double stomp he was hitting on Tyler Bate last week, but Dragunov says otherwise. Big time Lariat. McDonough to his feet, but Ilya Dragunov has been fired up ever since that suicide dive. He is not trying to allow a comeback here of the Irish Ace. McDonough trying to get to his feet, but Dragunov is just not allowing it. He is grounding the opponent. And the Invincible One's in the corner. And I think we know what comes next. Could be looking for a torpedo headbutt. My goodness, nobody hits it harder. Into the cover. And Dragunov is going to the semifinals. Well, J.D. McDonough was certainly cold and calculated throughout that matchup. But Ilya Dragunov always has his ace in the hole, which is that torpedo headbutt knocking out his opposer. Here is your winner, Ilya Dragunov. And just like that, we are down to six as Ilya Dragunov joins Nathan Fraser in two weeks' time in the semifinals of the CWC. But what about next Saturday afternoon, live at 3 p.m. Eastern time? We will see Dominic Mysterio, one-on-one -on -one with the whole shebang, Johnny Gargano in the quarterfinals. And also coming up seven afternoons from right now, it is going to be the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, taking on the human highlight reel, Ricochet. The winner of this matchup will meet Ilya Dragunov in two weeks in the semifinals right here in Hammerstein Ballroom. A big time win for the former Intercontinental Champion, the invincible Ilya Dragunov certainly making a case to be a possible winner of the CWC. But well, ladies and gentlemen, it is live in less than two hours. It is No Mercy, the SmackDown exclusive live premiere event, and it all begins tonight, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you in just a little while in Baltimore for No Mercy. On when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, don't need no cap. I'm a rock.